Hi, this is John Beans with Blue Vector. Today we wanted to talk about remote inventory management using RFID. First off, why would we want to do remote inventory management? Well, today's supply chains are spread out all over the place geographically. And we don't just want to know what's happening in our warehouses. We want to know when a product is shipped, what condition it's in, did it arrive where it was supposed to arrive, and we want to take responsibility for that entire chain of custody. And so things like RFID that allow us to see the actual real-time movement of products can be very useful. Also, as companies get more and more sophisticated, they begin to add higher and higher levels of service. So for instance, you want to be able to offer your customers a guarantee that you know where a product is, a guarantee that, that they'll never run out, and being able to monitor that product in real time can let you do that. How would you do it? How do you make that work? Because we're talking about RFID in the trunks of cars, in trucks, at your customer site. And the last thing you want to do at a customer site is to have a large installation that's difficult and troublesome. And so luckily we have products today that let you do that. And those products include devices, for instance, that include a cellular modem that will allow you to read the RFID and send it back to your network so that you can react to it. What kind of RFID do we use? Well, all of the same kinds of RFID. Um, you'll do the same analysis that you would normally do to determine if you want to use passive tags or active tags, and they can all be used in these examples. So the real challenge now is to decide, now that you can use RFID anywhere, in a vehicle, at a customer location, at one of your vendors, how will you use it to improve your business? And there are real examples of customers and companies that are doing this today. They're going to their customers and they're saying, let me take responsibility for the inventory that's at your location. I'll make sure that you never run out because I'm going to notice in real time as you consume it. You can also make guarantees about product freshness or safety, for instance, by also monitoring temperature. So as you use RFID, actually think a little more generally about sensing. Are there other kinds of things that you'd like to sense and send back as well, like temperature or GPS coordinates, for instance? If I'm monitoring the inventory in my salespeople's car, do I want to know when items left it where they weren't supposed to leave it? For instance, if I'm sending a shipment to a customer and it never arrives, do I have a way of telling when the product left the truck and where it left the truck? That's what sensing can do for us today.